You're huge? Oh my god. And I, I actually wouldn't believe you if you kept it going. Because I was like, oh my god, I'm like huge. And I believed it. You only have like 1.7 million. 1.7 million only? Wait, is she actually, is she actually clouded? Because like, if I see clouded people, I'll get on my knees suck. Can I, can I, can I? Okay, ma'am. Now you might think this is a video of attempting to unalive this person with sucking her soul out of her body But this is not the video I have no idea why I showed you this video I just thought I added in this whole I don't know 7-8 minute But anyways Now you're probably aware of TwitchCon happening in the past two days I believe today was the last day Maybe there's one more day I have no idea But basically you know streamers and their fans They gather up all together People start trolling each other with all these things happening, there's always a TwitchCon, even last year and the year before. There's always drama and clip farming. But this year, Kick decided to kick their way in, kick streamers, kick their way in, and start trolling people. And this year with Kick involved, there wasn't only clip farming and drama. There was also an attempted murder that happened literally yesterday. Consent to s now. Hmm? Consent. Nah, nah, I do not consent. Turn around. If you don't know who this Broccoli Hair is, he's the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, the kick streamer we talked two weeks ago about when he broke into a military base. And before you say he probably deserved it, wait till you see the other two involved. Now we have two characters, the streamer who was giving gagas at the beginning and the Broccoli Hair. And there are two guys who are going to enter the chat. Not only they're going to commit a crime, they're going to be absolute assholes about the whole situation because of a drama that happened last week with Chuvi. Just try it, bro. Try it. Trust me. Why you press my nigga? Yo, yo, leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. Why you press my nigga? Leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. Why you press my nigga? Leave him, bro. 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 I'm gonna steal your money, nigga. Try me, bro. What the fuck, fuck you talking about? Nigga, steal my money, bro. What the fuck you talking about? What the fuck you talking you about, shit, nigga? If you don't know what that is, that is a normal day at kick this situation. It was a 2v2. Before we talk about this situation, I want to point out that I had no idea that the N-word is being thrown in, around this much in the US. You guys are too sensitive about the, being a thrown around, but everyone is saying it. I have no idea if anyone just slaps anyone with the N-word whenever they get into a hype situation or they have to tag team their black friend before they say before they say the N-word. I don't know how it works, but anyways. And to give you a backstory, these two very kind gentlemen, they are also kick streamers. Shocking. Apparently, there was a drama that happened with Kovi, the broccoli hair guy who broke into military base, and his friend, and now that they met after a week, he is defending his friend by pressing him because apparently Kobe pressed them. I had literally zero interest to go back and find footage from it. So we're just going to stick to this story. Now I suffered for 90 minutes so you wouldn't have to. You just get the 8 minute video from this. Basically they called each other neighbor a couple of times. They push each other around. The broccoli hair got punched once. That is one crime so far. They kept getting into each other's faces but the broccoli haired one wasn't doing anything. He was just filming these two very kind gentlemen and this is the part where it crosses the line and it becomes i believe it is a felony attempted unaliving i don't know but this is where things got actually very very serious why are you pressing him he's pressing self-made so self self self-made your boy self-made from la i'm okay. from la so you, it's like you're, right, you're backing your boy simple as that yeah you're backing your boy yeah now for obvious reasons i'm not going to be showing you the second it happened because i still need to pay rent but basically this guy, he pushed them into the glass of the tram. It wasn't a train, it was like a, more like a tram. Some might call it attempted unaliving, some might call it chill out, it's not that serious. He pushed them against a window of a tram, it's not that serious. But I will tell you it is extremely serious because few seconds could make a difference. Imagine he pushed this guy and he fell between the tram. He is dead straight up now pressing each other maybe pushing each other can be fine but first of all he punched them and second of all he committed a very very extremely big crime that it can take him away for years and he should forget his streaming life him making it on kick shit that dream out even if you put a donkey in this situation the donkey is not going to kick this guy into a train it is absolutely stupid because literally if this this guy can ruin your life right now and when these two guys entered the chat they did not look normal and i can confidently tell you that they are not normal they are they 100 have a disease it is called donkey syndrome we talk about a lot of people unfortunately were affected by this donkey syndrome most of them are 
clip farmers but this in this situation this guy is the original creator of donkey syndrome and when this guy pushed them i have no idea what his intentions were did he just push him out of just the heat in the moment was he aiming for the glass and not in between the tram because you know he just wants to scare him and not on a live bone or maybe he just pushed them close his eyes and said whatever his faith is let it be he tried to play it cool afterwards keeping up the same energy but later on he comes into consideration that it's actually he did something very fucked up and he can actually go to jail for this bro, that's not a joke bro they just tell, tell your boy that's not a joke that's, that's not a joke that's, the that's the very truth. dangerous they can't handle the truth. that's a train and and let me know when he, he let me know that's if you want content, all right let me that's know when you, let me know one on one of now watching this stream for an hour and a half to get the whole backstory really made me question my life it was really it wasn't the fact that the attempted on living it was more like a the interactions that were having there's a lot more shit that happened i'm not gonna go through them but after those guys ditched because they knew they were in big trouble one thing they forgot that it is all being recorded after those donkeys ditch a security officer came then they called the traffic police and the traffic police called the pd after like an approximately an hour the pd reach took the whole statement they just talked it through and uh mr shuvi wasn't kuvi <laughs> Mr. Shubi, I was saying his name, uh, Broccoli Hair. I was saying his name, wrong, his name wrong the whole time. Mr. Broccoli Hair filed the police report. Here you go. You ready? Yeah. Don't want to miss it. Go ahead. Oh, you do have it. Okay, what's your gotcha wow okay could have been dangerous if that was a gap there now the situation could have been a lot worse someone could have had a pew pew because in the u.s they sell it like bubble gums you go into a supermarket you bought a machine gun you come out but still this situation was pretty dangerous as well it's never worth it to just stay there for the content you don't know what's gonna happen especially if you're against a guy who's coming into your face and saying you ain't shit my neighbor it's always best to walk away from these situations it's never worth it to stay and argue more for the sake of content everyone recording each other no one know what could have happened but basically they filed a police report they should 100 percent get charged for this he's gonna go through with it and i'm very happy that he is because in the in the middle of the whole conversation with the traffic uh, police officers they were like oh we don't know how much we want to wait i don't know if i want to be a witness blah 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 they just didn't want to wait a long time i'm ha very happy that they did and the pd is involved and detectives and uh whole uh case against these two donkeys they should both 100 percent go to jail for this the guy for obviously the main guy for pushing it and the other guy because i just don't like his face but anyways it is 4 a.m i'm done yapping let me know your thoughts in the comments below take it for yourself i'll see you the next